Okay, so I'm going to do a review of one of the beers I brewed. Um, this isn't like a full review. I'm just wanting to see how this beer is coming along. It's fairly still young, so this isn't the uh, official review. I just want to record it so I can remember what I thought about the beer. But this is my blonde ale that I brewed uh, a month and a half ago, maybe. I don't know. It's only been in the bottle for about three weeks. Uh, we moved here on the that day about a little less like two and a half weeks so let's see how it's progressing it's a blonde ale well sounds like the carbonation's there I just put this in the fridge it's only been in the fridge for about an hour so it might not be cold enough well sure looks good Nail. Let's see if I can get the light on here. Let's see if that helps. All right, so let me see here. I don't know if you can see this. We got bubbles coming up at a decent rate. It seems to be at the perfect carbonation level. Nice little head, like a half inch. Not even a half inch. It's fairly clear. In fact, it's pretty clear. It's just might have a little bit of a haze, just slightly. But I mean, I can see my hand through it. It's just I think I think it's clear. It's just a darker golden than what I was going for. So it, the perception is it's a little hazy, but it's actually not. All right. So I'm going to cheat here. I forgot what I used in this, but I want to see what I used while I'm doing this because I don't want I want to be able to tell what is good and what's bad. Alright. See I'm smelling like a I don't know if it's the yeast. I use California ale so it's probably not the yeast. I don't know, it's like a bready kind of smell. Let's see what did I use. So I use pale malt in this, I use a little bit of caramel malt, maybe. Maybe I'm smelling a little caramel. And I use flake barley, not even enough to do anything. I just use that to try to add a little body. But that shouldn't have uh, any effect on the smell. No real hop aroma. Well, I won't say that. It's there, but it's very light. And that would be the East Kent Goldings I used. But anyways, let's try this. Body is nice, nice and thick. Getting kind of a spicy hop character. Character. I used check saws, so that might be what. Let's see what that says. Check saws. Noble hop, somewhat clean, mild, somewhat floral. But definitely bitterness in this. It's in the finish. Like right now, when I have no more beer, there's a bitterness in the back of the tongue. Definitely. That's obvious. Uh, it says I only had 25 IBUs. <sighs> yep, okay. That would make sense. I have 25 IBUs, and on, this beer is only 1056. So that's about. 0.5 IBU per specific gravity. So that's on the order of like a pale ale in terms of bitterness. It's kind of unpleasant for what this is supposed to be. Like this is a good beer, but I, if I told you this is a blonde ale and gave it to you, it's kind of an unpleasant taste knowing that's a blonde ale. If I gave this to you and told you this was a pale ale, that's a little different. clean maybe a little too much caramel for what I was wanting to go for here I want for this I wanted basically a lager but in ale form essentially I wanted just a, a lawnmower ale essentially 
and this one's coming out a little too caramelly and a little too bitter. But it's a good beer still. I'm just saying um, what it's come, what it came out to be. So I know what to change now. I'm gonna back off some of the hops and um, maybe back off on the caramel malt a little bit or eliminate it completely. I only used a half a pound of caramel malt, but which amounted to five percent of my grain bill, grain bill. So, anyways, it's good beer. Um, I have several left of these. If I end up sending packages out to anybody, I'll throw one of these in and see what your opinion is on it. So it's supposed to be a blonde ale, but I would call this more of a pale ale actually. So cheers.